Hey guys, it's me, Powerpin. Welcome back to The Elder Scrolls III Morrowind. When last we left off, I solved the murder of the tax collector and his unfortunate demise. And I maybe took his clothes. But that's neither here nor there. We're going to go on an adventure! Do you want? Think it'll do rain? That, think it'll rain? Um, anyway, to do that, we're going to need some equipment. So for as long as I'm here, I can I can sell this stacker. I didn't even think about selling it before and the old clothes. Yeah, so I think what I want first and foremost is armor. Because I've got my bonkin stick. I need another bonkin stick so I can deal with ghosts. And that'll be silver or enchanted arms like dwarven. As far as I know, this is the only one he carries, though, so, uh, thank you. <laughs> so I need to grab some medium armor. Chain is a good option. Let's see what all we have here. I could also do light armors, technically. Oh, he carries steel. I forgot he had that. Not that I'm going to take it. But I am going to take the chain coif and cuirass, technically. He doesn't have, like, almost any medium armor. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> but it's fine. Hmm. I'll probably... As opposed to stealing it, I'll actually go ahead and buy a mortar and pestle as well. So, uh... That'll do for me. And I will also want a spell of some kind for damage, probably. Or sanctuary. Hearth heal would also be good to have. Just, you know, a healing spell. <laughs> Thank you. An honor to be sure. Yes. So I was informed while we were at the census office to talk to Elone the scout. What's your story? Head on. What is this regarding? You the want Citadel? something, friend? There you are. Go ahead. You're not interrupting anything. I'm Elone, scout. You need directions? Yes. I believe I was told to get instructions from you from here to Balmora. Balmora is the district seat of House Lalu and the largest settlement in Vardenfell after Vivek City. Good roads lead north from here to Balmora, passing through Fort Pelagian and Pelagian Village. From Balmora, roads lead north to Aldrun through the town of Caldera. Maybe I'd better write down the directions to Balmora for you. It is a long walk and a little confusing. Thank you. Uh, tell me a bit about Pelagian too as well. Pelagiad is a newly chartered imperial village on the road north from Vivek to Balmora, right on the western edge of the Ascadian Isles region. The village is right outside the Imperial Legion garrison at Fort Pelagiad. The houses and shops are built in the western imperial style, and Pelagiad looks more like a village in the Western Empire than a Morrowind settlement. While we're on the topic, tell me a bit more about Bal or Morrowind as well. Morrowind is the northeastmost province of the Tamrielic Empire bound on the north and east by the ocean, and on the west by Skyrim, on the southwest by Cyrodiil, also known as the Imperial Province, and on the south by Black Marsh, also known as Argonia. Why, thank you. Now, while I have you here, before I lose you, how about you give me a little advice before I set out on my way? Hmm, you'll be looking for better armor and a decent weapon. Let me make a suggestion. A lot of people out there are wearing very nice armor and carrying very nice weapons. You don't want to go taking things from the honest citizens because you'll end up doing hard labor. But if you happen to find some outlaws wearing nice armor and carrying nice weapons, well, the bailiffs don't mind at all if you knock them over the head and take their stuff. I see. That'll be worth investigating myself. Well, thank you. Do you know anyone in particular that I should be speaking to as well? Just Errol downstairs in Secutius Ergala. Okay. Well, thank you. What's this? 
Kiraz at the general sessions of the peace held for the district of House Lalu at the town of Balmora on the 16th day of first scene, the year of the reign of our sovereign king Lalu Ethin Lethen, by the grace of all gods, king of Morrowind, duke of Mornhold and Lalu province, defender of the people and the law, loyal servant of the empire, etc., Aaron of the port of St. Anine aforesaid, hath entered into recognizance with Suretic, there are Surates, before us, His Majesty's Magistrates of Peace, within the said district whose names are here underwritten. We therefore, His Majesty said Magistrates, have hereby licensed and allowed the said Errol to keep a common trade house or corner club in the house wherein he now dwelleth in the port of St. Anin aforesaid for three full years, from henceforth next ensuing, or till such other time as shall be by us, or some of our fellow magistrates thereunto appointed. Provided that if the said Errol does not do not move from time to time during that time, well and truly observe the articles hereafter mentioned, then this license shall presently cease and be utterly void. Okay, it's literally a license for owning his shop. But here are some of the names of the House Flalu: Velanda Omani, Nevena Jules, Drambero, Crassius Curio, and Ingling Half Troll. All right. That would be a good list to have if I wanted it. Andrew and Dolan. This is probably the door into his home. Oh, I think. May the wind be on May the wind back. be on your back. Yeah, you as well. Nords. Ugh. There's a number of things I could be investigating in the area here. Let's see. We have Evan Hart and Balmora on this road. Vivek, Pelagiad, Satanine, of course. And on this road is Slao and Narma. I could head out this way and discover a man who doesn't want to talk about some problem he has. This is unsettling. Excuse me? How interesting. A tourist. Uh, what are you? A commoner? That's sure not what you sounded like just a moment ago, but, uh, I'll take your word for it. Let's hurry along on our way to Pelagian and then Balmora. I could take the Silt Strider if I so desired. But I'm fairly certain there's stuff along this way that'll be better for me to get along to presently. There's probably going to be a lot of locations that I just never discover because I'm not going to go that far afield for a long time. Like, there's an island over there that I bet there's stuff. And I think, if I remember correctly, there was a dungeon actually over here. Already full of bandits. Maybe not over here, but... One of these little lake pond things. But it'll be good to stay on the road here, from here to Balmora. Oh look, it's even crudely paved. As long as I'm not set upon by cliff racers and rats galore. There's... There's one now. I should be fine for the time being. Hiya! 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 You are done. Now you didn't even have anything. Get out of here. Alright. Well, I wasn't expecting the road to split so soon. Oh, hello, mud crab. Where am I going? That sway goes to Vivek and Be Ebonheart, Pelagian, and Balmora lie on this road. And ahead we go. Uh oh, hello. Ow, my eyes. Here we are. Uh, so this is Andrano Ancestral Tomb. I'll mark it on my map. I don't think I want to return there too quickly. Stone flowers, but no, no, these are no answer. Ooh, 
Ooh, two. And they're black ends are as well, they're not even willing to throw. Guar. And what are these ones again? Palmberry? Yeah. Fun. Adventure. Huzzah. Oh, and it looks like I'm already at the town of Pelagiad. Already harvested that one. Oh, yeah, that was a rather short walk. Whoops. What spell did I just cast? Why, why was Star of the West equipped? Mm. Oh, I just remembered. Here, let's click on a quick key slot to add a spell magic item. Work. Okay, so one, I would like my shield spell to be on one. And then horse heal on two. Three, I will have my club. And four, I will have my staff. Very good. And unarmed is already set to zero if I wanted to empty my hands for whatever reason. I forgot to equip my armor, I should do that. Oh. <laughs> no, that's not what I wanted to do. Alright. I've got a pretty good selection of stuff equipped already. Yeah. Oh, let's get shield equipped. Oh, I got the hiccups. Oof. Howdy. What can you tell me about this town? The Empire built a little fort here to guard the roads between Vivek, St. Anine, Belmora, and Points North. And then some veterans took their mustering out pay and built themselves some little farms here. Pretty soon there's a few shops and a trade house. It's a pleasant little village. If you didn't know better, you'd think you were in Daggerfall or some other high rock town. Indeed. You may speak. I love the Empire. As an Imperial. Mabestian supplies. Alright. Sir? Speak freely, friend. Hello, Mabestianence. I'm happy to help you, stranger. I'm Mabestianence. People are fairly friendly here in Pelagian. We don't mind answering a few questions. Uh, tell me about this town, then. The Empire built a little fort here to guard the roads between Vivex, St. Anine, Balmora, and Points North. You've probably already heard this. Indeed I have. Then tell me, what armors do you have henceforth? That I may take and supply myself upon. You've got a lot of belts. And all of your armor is either light or heavy, so you're not really doing me any favors here, bud. I did not take... Hmm. I did not take block as a skill. I could take the shield, but it's not gonna do me much good. I'll probably block one out of every, like, 40 attacks. I want a two-handed blunt weapon, so likely warhammers and staves. But just an iron warhammer? That seems weak. Pathetic. Maybe I could do with a steel mace. How's the steel club I have? Not a lot of damage variance, but it is weak. Meanwhile, the mace can do upwards of 14 damage on every attack but a thrust. He also has a steel warhammer. Dream weapon. You can go away. Cost 72. Can I get that down to around 70? Does that sound fair to you? Are you sure? 72 it is. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, let's uh... That's more like it. 
and I will set this to be the hammer. What's this regarding? It's regarding the fact that you don't have what I want you to. Anyway. Now I've got some real manly weapons. Okay, so I suppose I could have checked before. Ulernal's arms, the armorer. Yeah, I bet he's got good armor. What do we have? Bone mold, Nordic fur, iron, yes. imperial steel, chain pauldron, mm. and bone mold bracers. All right. Yeah, let's get some armor. I can see you have some mediums. Pleased to meet you, stranger. You planning to be in Pelagia long? Then you'll want to know where the services are. Sure. My best friend's the Breton. He's a trader, deals in a bit of everything. You learn all that is myself as a high elf and a fair smith, not to brag. Shadback Raburbug is the smith at Fort Pelagian. The Imperial Cult Shrine is at Fort Pelagian with a healing altar, and Eek for the healer sells cure potions. Lady of Florugius, or whatever, Florugrius, and Anasi are tra traders. You can usually find them at the halfway tavern. Cool. If I didn't butcher half of that. Let's see what armors you have. Bone Mold Boots, Bone Mold Helm, which is over 21 versus my 11. So I guess Bone Mold is a little bit of an upgrade from what I'm wearing. <laughs> King Coif, King Chris, King Greaves, and the Pauldrons, of course. I think that fills almost all of the armor slots. I've only got 90 gold, though. This is a bother. Well, I'll find something to do around town then, and I will come back to you. I'm sure I could have bought at least one thing to wear, but... It'll be better if I find something to do to have the money to get some more. Uh, do you, have you heard any rumors recently? The Legion in Nisus is works mostly, but word is that they're recruiting for anyone over there. Might want to head over to Nisus if I want to get, you know, any kind of legion recruitment. What can you tell me about the Imperial Cult? Pelagian's Imperial Cult tried us in Fort Pelagian at the Eastern End. The main street, the altar there, cures disease and poison, and Ikra sells potions. Do you know anybody in particular? Angora Lavukil Guard is the boss of Fort Pelagian. Dralasa Ramothrin is the public hand of the halfway trade house. Nobody else important I can think of, and if you're looking for someone in jail, you need to look at the fort, of course. I guess I'll have to check with Angoril here at Fort Pelagian, then. Might have some work for me. You want On something, way. friend? Pretty fancy, pretty schnazzy place. Well, you're the guard captain, but you're not Angoral. What can you tell me about Fort Firemoth? The undead rule it now. It was overrun many years ago. Once a strategic strong point guarding the inner sea, now it is an all but forgotten ruin. Guard. Guards keep the peace in chase town criminals. Each district has its own guards. Legion troopers and Imperial districts, ordinators and temple districts. Redoran, Hlalu, and Telvani guards in their own Great House districts. Guards collect fines and compensation or drag you off to prison if you can't pay. I see. Well, thanks you for the info. You want something, friend? <clears throat> One of the job, but uh, whatever. Shadback, what do you do? What do you, what do you have? Just some Imperial and steel. Bucker. Oh, hello. I need to be a recruit to be that. And South Wall. So where is the boss of this place, then? Is he up here? Angoro, hello. Welcome, Outlander. What brings you to Pelagiate? Can I help you find a specific place? What can you tell me about this town? Uh, anything else? 
Just a halfway trade house, a couple of merchants, a few colonists, and Fort Pelagian. Most of us are outlanders, colonists from the Empire, adventurers looking for our fortunes. To the west of town, roads lead southwest to St. Anine, south to Evanhart, southeast through the Escadian Isles to Vivec, and north to Balmora. We have no travel services, but walking is good exercise. Hmm. I'm not getting a lot of information from you guys. Can you give me some rumors? A rumor says the Emperor has repealed the war tax. We've heard nothing official here, but it's about damn time. We haven't had a war in ten years. Uh, how about some advice? Thinking of setting yourself up as a mercenary or a questing hero? Not much call for that around here. Rats and the occasional bandit are our only problems. Do you know any secrets about the area? Just defend yourself if you're in trouble? Okay. What can you tell me about the Legion? Were you looking to join the Imperial Legion? Can you give me entry, Mr. Angoral? All the garrisons are presently at full strength, except perhaps the Death's, Death's Head Legion at Fort Darius in the West Gash near the village of Nisus. If you're interested, you'll have to talk to General Darius there. And that's someone that's mostly full of orcs. Okay. Crap! <laughs> I thought I'd have work here. I guess I'll just have to keep on the road north to Balmora then. Oh, this way. What brings you here, Pelagian? Pelagian? Oh, my bad. Sniff. Speak freely, friend. Maybe I should just drop in here first before I leave. Hello. What? Yakum. Me? Speak Ashland. Not, so, not speak so good old elf. Sorry. Uh, do you know any rumors about the area? A rumor says the Emperor has... Okay. Shh. All right, Bobby? I'm listening. Uh, Woohoo! I am Savia, sorcerer. Uh, do you have anything of interest to me? And how do you think it was that bloated Imperial plutocrats got the charter to exploit the Caldera ebony deposits and not a native great house or local colonist? Big fat bribes, I tell you, and the friends in high places. Do you have any advice for someone like me? Looking for work? Not much around here, but I head to one of the towns to the north, Balmora and Aldruin, and try the Fighters Guild and the Mages Guild. Or head for the big city, Vivek, for the, to the east. I see. Can you tell me a bit about the Mages Guild? Training goods and services are cheaper for Mages Guild members, and the Guild stewards knew where to find work. Okay. Do you have anything for the... Hopeful? Food and beds, or both at the same time. Your choice. Uh, do you have any rumors going around? Vortex. If you find yourself stumbling into trouble when you're tired, stop being so reckless. Keep an eye out. If you're entering unfamiliar territory and you think it might be hostile, slow down to a walk, look around, catch your breath, and be ready for trouble. Okay. Will do. I guess nobody in town really needs anything, then. I figured there'd be more to this place. Oh, well. Hello, sir. I already spoke to you. I got. I suppose I could go knocking on doors, but uh, I don't. I don't think that's necessarily called for. Goodness. Oh well. Off we go then. How pleasant. Truly. Hello? Mm, yeah, let's get that on the map. Oh boy. What are you? Mouse. Ulu Musa. 
I'm getting strong bandit vibes from this. <laughs> hmm. Well, I suppose we'll just continue on our walk then. Uh, ma'am? Welcome. Please don't be shy. I'm listening. Begging your pardon, have you seen a bandit nearby? I must find him. Yes, I was just walking along here, minding my own business. Suddenly, a bandit jumped at me from behind. He was a dark elf. A strong, dashing dark elf. He didn't harm me in any way, although he did take my jewels. He was quite gentle, and he talked to me for what seemed like forever. Your jewels? What's that? Oh, never mind the jewels. I just want to find the bandit again. He was charming and funny, and I simply must see him again. His name? Nelos... Nelos Onmar. A name that will stay on my lips for eternity. Perhaps you can find him for me? Please, I cannot live without knowing if he could ever love me. I have nothing to offer you in return, but could you not help me for the sake of love? I have no time for you again. I will try and find this man, if only for love's sake. You'll try? Thank you so. I'm sure you'll be able to find him. He mentioned something about having to head north, so I imagine he might be found in Pelagian. Please, if you find him, give him this glove for me, as a token of my love. I'm certain he will want to find me again. Alright. Guess I'll circle around. I did see him while I was at the store. Oh. I did see him while I was at that store, or at the corner club, rather. What are you doing out here, sir? Alright. No. Oh, you're Yakum, you're not Nellos. I thought I'd seen him. Oh, here you Wealth are. beyond measure, Outlander. Hello, Oxadius. I am Nellos Onmar. And this is the village of Pelagiad, a little piece of the Empire right here in the heart of Dunmer East. Are you looking for someone in particular? Indeed. Oh, not Angoral or Dralasa. I'm looking for you, I believe. Would you recognize this name, Nelos Onmar? I am Nelos. What do you want? Then would you recognize this glove? You have what? How odd. She was a lovely young woman, but what would she want with a rogue like me? She is beautiful, though, and seemed sweet. For the first time in my life, I actually felt a little remorse for robbing someone. I should see her again. Ta here, take this. Tell her you have a note from Nelos. I must see her again. I won't forget this, friend. Yes, just tell her you have a note from Nelos. I think she'll be happy with it. Alright. And away we go. I'll just peek around the back of this house for this road. Yep. Yep. Whoa. Um. What are you doing out here? Junole. Uh, who are you? <laughs> At first, it seemed the fuss about the Nereverine prophecy was just silly superstition. Yes, I have heard about that. Levana Salarin at the Temple in Molag Mar is the most knowledgeable acrobat I know. I didn't say best acrobat. There's others who can leap higher and jump farther. But she can talk acrobat better than any acrobat I've ever met. Hmm. All right. Levana Salarin. Goodbye. Let me see if I can mark it in my journal. Can you make your own notes? 
Oh. I brought him the glove. He seemed moved by this and gave me a note to give to her. Perhaps this rogue can be moved by the young woman's heart, but perhaps it is but a game to him. Either way, I have been given his note. Alright. Let's move along. I wish Skyrim's journal allowed you to look at previous entries like this one does. Even Oblivion allowed you to look at previous entries. Oh. Oh, I could have sworn that Shape in the Rock was a person. Yep. 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 I return with news. I'm not sure, good or bad. I must find that bandit. I believe he's in Pelagiad. Perhaps you'll come back to find me, though. Uh, so, uh... Yes, I was just walking along here, minding my own business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about you take this note that I got from him? He gave you a letter to give to me? Wonderful, thank you so. I knew that he cared. You know, you didn't have to do all of this for me, and I really appreciate it. You're clearly a wonderful person. You should visit my friend, Emuset Brock, in Telerune. Tell She's a wonderful person, and I think the two of you would get along famously. Very well. I have brought the note from Nelos Onmar back to Mari Armin. She seemed overwhelmed by its contents, and is full of gratitude for my having delivered it. In return, she has suggested I visit her friend Emuset Brock in Telerune. She believes I would do well to meet this woman and that we might enjoy one another's company. I have seen stranger things happen in the past few days. Uh, well, it's day one, so, uh... Welcome. Please don't be shy. I'm listening. So anyway, I think I'm gonna keep going along on my way towards Balmora. Now that I've finished that quest off a bit. And we'll see about anything important happening. There's another dungeon here that I need to park on my map. Oh, what are you? Who are you? Where are you? Adam Numeran. That is a second door inside the first door. This reeks of bandits. Well, that's two places that I put on the map now. Let's check that local map out. Adam Numeran. And Ulamusa. Wow, these are really close. Actually, there's a little path here that I didn't even go down. Balmora. Balmora is rather large on the map here, isn't it? Pelagian. Satanin. Well, judging by the map, it seems I'm about halfway up to Balmora. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. How many little side roads are there? Oh, this isn't even the side road. That's the road. This is the side road. Yes, yeah, so that leads to Pelagian. That leads to Balmora and Ghostgate. Malagmar and Mount Khan. And Saran, that way. I was told of Saran already. Would, would it be easier to get to the fort going this way? Perhaps. Let's slow it down a little, just in case. Just in case of those guys. What do we have here? That looks like a dwarven ruin. Hmm. Well, let's, let's keep moving with that in mind, maybe. I knew I would have trouble. Whack. Oh. Well, 
Well, that was good. <laughs> good fight. What? What is this place up here? Can I even jump up here with my pitiful acrobatic skill? <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Oh, my unarmored skill increased. Aha! I despise you and everything you stand for. <laughs> I do not blame Jib for killing all of those in the future. Or at least most of them. Obviously they don't go extinct based on dialogue in Skyrim. I'm getting the faintest sense that I was perhaps led astray by my own thoughts. What do we have? Mount Asarna, Bibi, Mount Cand, and Malagmar. Yeah, I've gone not the correct direction. You have got to be kidding me. Oh gosh. Get down here. <laughs> Look at how much faster he is that he's so jittery. Huzzah! Huzzah! Be gone! Be gone! Stop circling overhead! I despise you. Uh, let's try getting my uh, restoration skill up. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Uh. Well, that's not good. <laughs> oh yeah, you may have noticed that's one of the one of the changes that one of the mods does. Uh, I changed the game a little bit so that I could just press the equip a magic button, as opposed to pulling out my hands to cast a spell. It's like Oblivion, where it's just equipped like on a back slot. And you hit the button and, you know, activate magic. You still have to wait for the casting animation, just like in Oblivion, but... Please, don't... don't get me stuck. Okay. Acrobatic 16! I'm, I'm so athletic and acrobatic. This guy's... he's in for a world of hurt, I'm just saying. Whoa. Let's uh try to adjust to a little bit. Huzzah! Aha! Combat. <laughs> oh boy, when I get to Palmora, I need to get some rest. It is. Oh, hello, Secunda. It is late. Oh, here's the road to the fort, huh? I just have to travel up the Foyada a little bit. Okay, let's see what this says. Belmora, Caldera. What was up this road? Vivac and Pelagiate. Go skate up that way. Up the Foyada. Okay. Yes, here's the fort. Wonderful. Goodness. Maybe... Maybe I should just stop for a rest in the Deacon Fort. That was delicious, yeah. All this metal armor isn't conducive to all of us staying out there, you know? So I'm gonna reduce my chances of getting ruined by increasing yours. You're welcome. Ugh. Uh, 
Did I enter the wrong building? More than likely. Yeah, this is just... Just a friggin' view. Just up on the turret. Ugh. Let's get out of here. Get into the fort proper. There? Head on. Who are you? I am Rad Hardheart, Master at Arms and Knight Protector of the Imperial Legion. I see. Tell me a bit more about your job here. I am a master at arms, a master of all the basic hand weapon types. Long blades, short blades, axes, blunt weapons, and spears. I am willing to train with weapons for a fee. Have you heard anything going on recently? In the Reverie? Yeah. Any advice for a guy like me? The master at arms at Fort Pelagia at Angoral is a good source if you're curious about the master at arms trade in Morrowind. He's a little long-winded, but he knows his stuff, and he's always willing. Well, that's good to know. I suppose I could head back to him if I wanted training, then. I doubt you guys are willing to sell to me. Can I tell you about the Imperial Cult? We invite you to become a lay member. What is a lay member? We accept all citizens of good character and carnist faith. Or, earnest. <laughs> Yeah, I should probably have gotten the easier-to-read font, huh? Earnest faith. We ask only a one-time pledge of 50 drakes to aid us in our good works. To become a lay member of the Imperial Cult, speak with Igfa at Fort Pelagian. Uh. You, uh, you got some advice for someone like me? You want to know about traitors and how they work in Morrowind? Talk to Nalian at the Gateway Inn in Sadras Mora. He knows what he's talking about. Cool. Uh, actually, what do you sell? A little bit of armor. Not much. Bear skin. Some... Ooh, a chain pauldron. But it's heavy. Why is... Why are the pauldrons heavy when the pants are not? Thanks for the pants, by the way. Let's get the pants on. Hooray! Oh, whoops. Ab. Alright, let's get our way back over. Goodness, they're just selling everything. Hey. Perhaps it's better to be in town sooner as opposed to later. Elmora and Caldera this way. Are these sunflowers? Fresh food. I'll take it anyway. Almora, I hope. Yes. This way. We're almost there. Just a little further. It's a bridge. Or bridge is. I suppose. Balmora. And there's a sunstrider too. Look at how windy it is, goodness gracious. I need to find my way to an inn. This is off terrible. Revere. These all appear to be shops. It's no good. Fight well. Struggling to go shot and go. Okay. The razor hole. That doesn't sound very in like. Eight plates. Aha. Uh -huh. 
That door is locked, that's fine. That door exits. Meryl Flano. Raven Marvos. Our Don't doors are all. always open. Is one of you supposed to be the shop owner here? Is that you? Good day, I'm Dolneo Rinal, publican of the Eight Plates here in Balmora. We rent beds and I have a limited selection of goods for barter. If you're new here, I can also tell you where to look for other services or a specific place nearby. If you're looking for someone in particular, I may be able to help. Or do you want to entertain the patrons? I want a bed. Please. It's all yours for the day. Down the stairs to the right. Thank you. Permitted. Yeah, let's, uh... Let's just get a little bit of sleep in. Ah. Uh, what a... What a nice establishment. I wish I could sit down in one of these or something. Hmm. Well. Yeah. I think that'll do it for this episode. Finally made my way into town. Balmora. Now all that I have left to do, as far as I know, is go and talk to the man who the Emperor has appointed me to serve. Not here, where is that slave? Uh, but I do have to go check one of the other corner clubs to find out where he lives. <sighs> and then... Where is that slave? Where is that slave? Then we'll be able to find out exactly what we're doing here, in a Morrowind of all places backwater but it's all right emperor he knows what he's talking about i'm sure so that's gonna do it for this episode thanks for watching like if you like subscribe if you haven't already share this with your friends if you really want to leave me a comment down below questions thoughts suggestions those can go down there thanks for watching see you next time